taking in enough calories can actually stop you from getting the results you want to losing body fat. PCOS, Hashimoto's, hypothyroid, insulin resistant, you're struggling with body fat, you're struggling with losing weight, men, women, if you're a dragon for all that I care. Under eating is actually the number one reason I found why people are not losing body fat and getting healthy. It's about actually getting healthy. And the biggest tall tale sign, why do you think you ladies rip your hair out and leave it on the shower wall when you're trying to lose body fat? It's because you're under eating. So this is my theory on it because the amount of people that I've helped lose 50, 100 pounds in less than a year, this is what I've found with them. And that's the beauty of all of this. I only talk about what I do, what I've done for others. I don't talk about the stuff that I went to school for. I went to school for exercise science, all that fun stuff. And I don't talk about any of it because they still talk about the food pyramid, which is complete garbage. And then they talk about um, everything that they've been talking about for the past 20, 30 years. President Eisenhower dies of a heart attack. They blame it on fat. What are we all doing when we try to lose body fat? What are we all told? Eat less, do more. Guess what? Y'all are doing that. Y'all are doing 1,200 calories a day. There's people doing weight loss surgery not getting results. They can barely eat 800 calories a day. Why is that? This is my theory on it. We take in calories. Our body uses those calories as nutrients, repair muscles, nourish the body, taking in vitamins, minerals, fats, carbs, and proteins. But when we deplete way too much, my theory is, is we use all the nutrients as energy. So you can hit your protein goal every day, but be under your calorie goal by a thousand and your body's going to use that nutrients as energy and burn it off instead of actually taking in that nutrients, repairing muscles and having the body thrive because it's getting nourished. And that's why so many women and men, hormone problems are such a real thing, especially with PCOS, especially being insulin resistant. And I truly believe it has to go hand in hand with what calories we're taking in. And that's why I harp on it so much. You have to stop under eating. That's literally 100% why Fullerton Nutrition got started when I had my own gym. That's why I created True Meal. It's why I literally formulated True Meal. It's not a ploy, it's not a dig to talk about True Meal, but that's literally why I started Fuller to Nutrition. Because everyday moms, dads, working people don't have enough time to get in a quick, easy meal. All the meal replacements out there are full of carbs, full of sugars, don't even have enough calories to be a meal. True Meal is 400 calories. I stay full three to four hours on it. It's got 50 grams of high quality isolate whey protein, casein protein, not the low quality concentrated whey. When you get home or if you're listening to this on the podcast or on YouTube or TikTok or Facebook or wherever you guys are listening to this, go look at your protein. You're going to see that's a concentrated whey and then see where the carbs and sugars are. But that's why I created True Meal because my clients were getting amazing results. This is when it dawned on me when I had my own gym. I opened up my own gym at 21 and I found out pretty quickly. I'm like, why are you guys not getting results? And people are like, Tyler, we're working out every day. I know, I see it. You guys are doing amazing. You guys are kicking butt in here. Why are you not getting the results? I'm like, what are you eating? They're like, I'm eating healthy. Why am I not getting results? I'm like, all right, let's break this down. What are you actually eating? And every single person was under 1,200 calories. Stop eating 1,200 calories, ladies and gents. Stop. Unless you're five foot nothing, you're a female and you don't work out, you weigh 130 pounds, that's the only reason you're going to be around 1,200 calories. And the reason for that is, and people always ask, like I've got women doing 3,000 calories a day. You got to think about it like this. It is going to take more energy. You're going to burn more calories if you weigh more because it's going to take more energy for your body to move than it would for somebody who weighs 150 pounds compared to somebody who weighs 300 pounds. You could walk hand in hand around a track, same speed. The person who weighs 300 pounds is going to burn more calories. So that's why when you weigh more, you have to take in more calories because you're burning more calories just living. Y'all have a resting metabolic rate. We're burning calories just sitting here watching and listening to this right now. 
So that is why it is so important to make sure you know what your calorie goal is for weight loss. And if you don't know what your calorie goal is, I give you guys my calorie calculator. You can find it on the website. Just go to fullertonnutrition.com. It's where you guys will get access to the calorie calculator. I give you my entire step-by-step -step plan on how to melt that fat off the body, giving you guys exactly what I do, what I've got others doing. But just last night, we had an updated call with Tina. She did weight loss surgery, and uh, she was doing 1,100 calories. She went up to 1,700. She's down 15 pounds in three weeks. Every single person I have helped lose weight, lose body fat, get healthy, they all had to increase their calories 500 to 1,000 more than what they were currently doing trying to lose body fat. And that is because we are now finally giving our body the nutrients that it needs. We are finally taking in enough calories for weight loss. You're still in a calorie deficit. I just hate the word calorie deficit because it gives you no context. So when people are like, oh, all that matters is being in a calorie deficit. When you hear the word, seriously, sit back and actually think about this real quick. What number comes into your head when I say the word calorie deficit? Did you think 1,200? It's what everybody thinks. 1,200 calories. You go to your doctor, you want to lose body fat, they tell you to do 1,200 calories a day. If you're doing a ton of cardio and you're working out every single day, you need well over 1,800, especially if you weigh over 200. If you weigh 250 and you're doing, you're doing cardio and weight training four to five days a week, you're going to be well over 1,800 calories a day. You got to give your body the nutrients that it needs because too much of a deficit, you're going to lack your body the nutrients. You're gonna lack the proteins. You're gonna lack the fats. You're gonna lack the vitamins and the minerals. And your metabolism will actually start to slow down. And that's what happens so many times is people are like, Tyler, I can't get in these many calories. And for instance, we keep using Tina as an example because she called in last night. Um, for the first two weeks, she was like, I can't hit these calories. I'm like, trust the process, just day by day, meal by meal, the metabolism will start to speed up within a week to where you will actually be hungry to want to eat more calories because the metabolism will start to speed up because the body isn't shutting itself down, slowing down its metabolism because it's been under eating for so long. It can take some time for it to bounce back. It can take some time for the metabolism to speed up. And then all of a sudden the hormones start changing. That with the body to start to thrive, then it will come down to where your calories are coming from. But we're not gonna jump into that when you guys can go and listen to that episode, Weight Loss Over Coffee. But you have to make sure you are taking in the right amount of calories, because if you're not and you're under eating, you will not be giving your body the nutrients that it needs to thrive. So ladies, y'all want your hair to stop ripping out and leaving it on the damn shower wall and have your husband or your significant other stop complaining about you leaving hair on the shower wall? I'm telling you, go use the calorie calculator, start hitting your calorie goal, eating real food. If you don't know what I mean by real food, meat, veggies, nuts, seeds, fruit, dairy if you want to, I just don't do milk and eat the whole damn egg. And I promise you, within a month, you will be shocked of what you start to notice with your body. Just have to take in the right amount of calories. Stop under eating, stop eating 1200 calories a day, stop doing stupid cleanses, your weight, your, your intermittent fasting doesn't make you lose body fat, stop doing Manjaro, stop doing all these weight loss drugs, stop buying your friend's sister's dog's goldfish weight loss products, they don't work. I own a supplement company. This isn't gonna make you miraculously lose body fat. Is it gonna give you nutrients? Is it gonna help get in your calories? That's why I created True Meal, but it's not gonna make you miraculously lose body fat. How you lose body fat is giving your body the nutrients that it needs, taking in the right amount of calories. Last one for you guys all to think about, why is it that your skinny friends are the ones that are eating all of the time? While you're trying to lose body fat and you're starving yourself and you're not getting results, but your friends that are skinny and look great are the ones who are always eating. It's because they're giving their body the nutrients that it needs. They're not destroying their hormones. They're not destroying their metabolism. That's enough proof in the pudding, but make sure you guys go listen to the podcast. Go listen to the one-on-one -on -one calls. Go listen to the one-on-one -on -one callbacks and hear about everybody's story of how they've gotten such great results. There's one common denominator in every single one-on-one. -on -one. Every single person that I've helped, well, there's one common denominator. They all had to increase their calories. 
So stop starving yourself. Give your body the nutrients that it needs. I'm out of here. Smash that share button, ladies and gents.